Hello and welcome to the in new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about mass extinction. This topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS mains papers. Let's begin with the topics of discussion that we are going to look at. These are the certain topics that we are going to discuss today. We do not have any mains based question but we have certain pre-based question, one word questions for you in the middle of the entire segment. So be tuned okay so if we talk about the news this is in the news the topic of mass extinction is in the news because in a journal a study has been published which has cited one of the key reasons for the mass extinction in the late Ordovician period and this mass extinction has been contributed to the factor that because of excessive cooling there has been a change in the pattern of oceanic currents which has led to the extinction of many of the species. Here we are also referring to the first mass extinction, which caused a huge depletion of the other type of species which are not present with us anymore. So let's know more about it. Before that, I would like to introduce you to the concept what is mass extinction, which has been into use a lot, especially through the ongoing sixth mass extinction. When I utter the word mass extinction, you might get certain visuals of specifically those creatures which have ceased to exist with us anymore, such as dinosaurs, mammoths and other avian dinosaurs which do not exist with us anymore and that is what in a layman's term is mass extinction. And if I talk about a definitive term, a definitive meaning of mass extinction, that means an increase in the degree of extinction of species in a short span of geological time scale. When the earth has lost three quarters of its species in a very short span of time, that is 2.8 million years. Okay, this geological time span suggests that because of the extinction of the species in such a short span of time, this is called mass extinction. The first mass extinction is known as the late Ordovician or Ordovician period and currently we are in our sixth mass extinction. So, we will know entirely about the history of mass extinctions as well and let's move you through the background of mass extinction. So first, let's talk about the last five mass extinction. And in the last 450 million years, there has been a record of destruction of 70 to 95 percent of the species of plants, animals and even microorganisms that existed earlier. Specifically, if we talk about mass extinction, they have been caused due to certain catastrophic events which might be related to global cooling like we have global warming, the ice age I am referring to, volcanic eruptions and even asteroid related activities. Also, massive volcanic eruptions have been hypothesized along with collision with an asteroid for the extinction of dinosaurs, right? And also, if I would walk you through the current findings, the journal we have been studying through which we have these recent findings is by the name of Nature Geoscience. And here I am going to talk about the late Ordovician mass extinction, which occurred 455 million years ago. And it took a toll on the 85%, 85% of all these species. The reason has been cited. One of the reasons is cooling climate which changed the ocean circulation pattern. That means, suppose this is an ocean and because of the excessive cooling, as global warming rises the sea level, global cooling makes the sea level to go down. And because of that, what has happened as oxygen dissolves in the surface water of colder temperature, it was not reaching the ground level, the deeper level of the ocean. 
and because there was a depletion in the oxygen level the organisms that were existing in the deeper level were deprived of oxygen and it caused extinction and such species which have been completely ceased to exist which have completely ceased to exist are trilobites brachiopods and crinoids and how all this was known this was known by the technology which measured the iodine concentration in the rocks okay so first of all as i told you because of the excessive cooling the sea level went down also because of the exposure of silicate rocks what happened more and more carbon dioxide was absorbed by these rocks and hence more and more cooling occurred in the first mass extinction which is related to ice age okay and lack of oxygen or anoxia as i told you in deeper oceans during this period was one of the reasons sea floor and upper ocean oxygenation in response to the ongoing global cooling as we have right now global warming as it was earlier thought about that only global warming can lead to basically any kind of mass extinction global cooling has also been now one of the reasons moving on if let's talk about the history of the mass extinction first mass extinction i have already told you about let's talk about the second one now second mass extinction happened in the late devonian period that is 383 to 359 million years ago and here 75% of the species were lost with the emergence of land plants what happened their roots which were filled with nutrients after raining a nutrient started getting into the oceans and different lakes and because of that what happened as we have studied in environment itself that because of that algal blooms start to occur when the algal blooms start to occur they will of course absorb more oxygen and the organisms which are existing at the deeper levels of the water bodies they will not get oxygen and hence it will change the entire pattern again if we talk about the third mass extinction that happened in end permian age that was approximately 252 million years ago kindly note it down or take a screenshot it's better to write your own notes okay let's move forward and talk about here 96% of the species were lost and what happened actually now here we have to see that because of a cataclysmic eruption near the siberia it blasted co2 into the atmosphere and that caused methogenic bacteria to respond by belching out methane which is a potent greenhouse gas that means giving rise to greenhouse gases and also it also belched hydrogen sulfide hydrogen sulfide was also into the atmosphere so everything that is causing greenhouse gas emission also caused global warming and that is why 96% of the species were lost fourth mass extinction it happened in the end triassic age 201 million years ago and here 80% of the species were lost but no clear causes have been found and in the fifth mass extinction that is in end cretaceous that is 66 million years ago 76% of all the species were lost volcanic activity and climate change along with asteroid species so can you tell me in the comment segment that in which age did human beings start agriculture okay in the comment segment do tell me moving on let's talk about the sixth mass extinction that is the ongoing mass extinction we are currently a part of it and it has been exaggerated by the anthropogenic activities of course mass extinctions are natural they are happening they have been happening even before human beings came into existence but this current mass extinction has been accelerated right so a study which analyzed 29400 species of terrestrial vertebrates and concluded that over 515 of them are near extinction and most of these 515 species are from south america followed by oceania asia and africa 
it has also been observed that the disappearance of these populations has been occurring since the 1800s now if we talk about the sixth mass extinction this is important from the perspective of your examination because it is going to be if it is going to be asked anthropogenic activities are going to be at the forefront of any sort of example that you are going to give so it is human caused and very serious in nature and it is more immediate because the rate of extinction is being accelerated we are nearing the rate of extinction because of more and more influence of human activities into the nature also anthropocene extinction is a term coined for its it itself why because of the influence more profound more significant more frequent influence of human beings into this extinction and only an estimated 2% of all the species that ever lived in on earth are alive most serious environmental problem since the loss of species will be permanent so if the species are lost permanently the impact is going to be hard hitting on earth and more deep and it has been said that since the development of agriculture 11000 years ago it has accelerated the impact and because of the population increase from 1 million to 7.1 approximately 1 million to 7.7 .7 billion this has occurred more human beings need more space for residential area for agriculture area so think about it now let's talk about the certain impacts impacts are going to be tangible that means we are going to feel it it's going to be very much visualized we will have proper evidence of extinction in the sixth mass extinction as in the form of a loss in crop pollination and water purification that means certain microorganisms which are responsible for crop pollination especially bees and especially important for water purification certain organisms if they disappear the impact will be totally evidentiary in nature we will be able to see it and witness it and impacting the food chain that will be because more and more species suppose this is a food chain and more and more species get lost what will happen this particular species will also be impacted and because of that many zoonotic diseases are also going to reach us much sooner and it will kill much faster also when the number of individuals in a population or species drop too low their impact and their contribution in the ecosystem also gets insignificant okay also the effects of extinction it is going to worsen the genetic as well as cultural variability of course that means it will impact our food chain it will impact agriculture it will impact everything also dietary habits which are relevant to any important culture will also be impacted that means it's not humans against human it has become humans against nature so think about it also let's talk about the way forward because of course we cannot sit hand on hand thinking about things to go reset by themselves we as humans are responsible for the acceleration of sixth mass extinction that is why we should be responsible for taking it back at least that least we can do so it first of all these studies will help us understand what is the actual reason accordingly we will be able to formulate policy right if we will be able to know that cooling also causes certain extinctions cooling is also responsible that means we need a more balanced approach we cannot uh, have global warming versus global cooling we should have global warming and cooling versus global balance in the temperature and impacts of covid-19 pandemic have already been felt because of the covid-19 pandemic biodiversity has also been impacted such as trading illegally in certain species certain animals it is also raising alarm bells for the future world that we need to safeguard our biodiversity first in order to keep everything in balance secondly we also need to know that these biodiverse species are important to keep certain zoonotic diseases in check okay so that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching